going to be demonstrating today is how to brush and roll the soffits and how to brush and roll the siding. So first of all, what you're going to want is a cutting pot in the soffit paint and a roller set up in the soffit paint. Now because the soffits are smooth on this house, I'm using a 3 8 inch nap roller. Okay, over here I've got a cutting pot and a roller set up in the siding color. Now one thing to remember is you're going to want bucket hooks on all your buckets. And one more thing you're probably going to want, at least one roller pole and maybe two. This is a two to four foot extension pole. Very handy thing to have. This saves you a lot of work. Now here I have a four to eight foot extension pole. Now if you've got places where you can actually get away with just rolling up high, then this might be what you want. Alright, we're ready to start putting some paint on, so let's go. Now I actually cut this soffit in yesterday, but you can see how I just did a nice brush stroke all the way along the edges, maybe three, four inches out, and then I also had to paint the gutters. Now for little soffit vents like that, I usually give them a, uh, what we call a dry brush, and then I'll roll them again later. Now when you dip your roller, get it down in the paint a few times, then run it against the ramp to get the extra paint off. Maybe give it a little twist to make sure there's no drips coming off, and you're ready to go. Okay, now here's the lay on. Not really worried about being extra neat, just getting all the areas. Now I'm going to do my layoff. Start back here about where I started. I go nice and smooth without applying too much pressure. And then I follow that straight back and bring it off. Now that's going to help those roller marks disappear. Now I do the same thing over here. Nice and light, nice and smooth. Get it all uniform, go back, and lay it off. Now I move on to the next section. Okay, so now we got the soffits done in this section here, and now I'm going to demonstrate the siding. Now you see I got a few drips here on the siding. That's going to happen. What you want to do is have a damp rag along with you. So that you can just kind of wipe them around as long as you just kind of smear them out and don't leave them as a drip they'll disappear when you paint. Okay now I've got a section here all cut in and I'm going to go back and roll this right away because it's always better to roll while the cut in paint is still wet. Now this is the lay on. Get it in that groove. We're really going to have to work it in there. Uh, doesn't sound like I'm putting any effort into it, does it? Okay, now I've got a section laid on here. Now I'm going to go back and lay it off before I continue on. So I want to make sure it doesn't dry. So, let's go back to the beginning. Nice and smooth and bring it off the bottom just like that. Okay, that section is done. Just like that. Okay, now we're getting ready to cut and roll the lower siding, which is probably a more typical type of siding that you're going to find on your average house. So what you want to do is just pick two or three boards and do them all the way across. Then go down to the next two or three boards and do them all the way across that way. And if you do that and keep a wet edge the whole way, then you won't have any of those big overlap marks, which are very visible if you look at a house a little bit sideways. Remember to get it on real thick up under there. This is the lay on. I'll do the layoff. Now 
Now watch how I do my layoff here. I start back, a little bit back into the first section I did. Go all the way down here to the end. Lay it off back into my wet edge. Just like that. If you do it that way, you won't have any of those ugly start marks from putting your roller on there and going like that. Whoa. Okay, now I've done that section all the way across. Now I'm going to drop down a couple boards, come back this way. Now if you're brushing and rolling your house and you haven't masked off all your windows, there's a real simple technique to help you get a straight edge along the edge of those windows. When you cut it in, go a little bit over out onto the face of the window. Then take a damp rag, <clears throat> run it right down there like that, clean it up a little, you got a perfectly straight edge. Okay, so now you know the basic techniques involved if you want to brush and roll the exterior of your house. It's really not that difficult. Anybody can do it, and it doesn't involve a bunch of expensive equipment. Now, if you're somebody who wants to spray paint your house, or even if you're just curious about it, see the video on my website, howtopaintahouseright.com, about spray painting the outside of your house. Also on the website, you'll find a lot of helpful materials and a whole series of videos that I've created to help you paint your house right. Thank you.